Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today I want us to study from the book of Galatians chapter 5. And we'll start from verses 19. This is contrasting two types of lifestyles. And I dare say that um, as a Christian filled with the Holy Spirit, you are expected to grow in grace. You're expected to grow that certain characteristics, certain character attributes that you had should die. And certain and certain character attributes of Christ develop in you. If you're hearing a gospel, or you're hearing teaching that does not emphasize or cause these character attributes listed or mentioned here to grow that is the character attributes of Christ to grow in you, then you are being deceived. You are being given a feel-good teaching which does not have any effect or does not affect your character. And that is not good. That's not healthy. You are not, Christ is not being portrayed, portrayed properly in you. If you are allowed or you are permitted or it is tolerated for you to have the attributes that are mentioned in the first part of this treatise, that is the the attributes of the flesh, then you can bet your last uh, dollar, pound, or what whatever, that it's your flesh that is just being entertained. Your spirit man is not being edified, and your salvation is very much in question. And whoever it is that is your leader, your spiritual leader, is not doing you any good or favors. Think again. Join me from verses 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adultery. So he's saying that these are the works associated with carnality, the flesh. Can carnality is basically canis, meat, flesh. It's not a life driven by the spirit man it's a life driven by the base nature the flesh it says adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness that is careless carefree life verse 20 idolatry witchcraft it even includes witchcraft as part of the works of the flesh it can that is so a a christian who is flesh ruled can practice this and that tells you where that person is heading hatred you see as hatred here classes hatred and witchcraft in the same kada so if you hate don't think you are any different from a witch variance emulations rot strife seditions heresies Envyings, murders, you see, is in the same character, they are all works of the flesh. Drunkenness, revelings. When you say revelings, it talks about carousing in wild parties. And such, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they we do such things shall not, emphasis mine, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you hate, if you are an adulterer, if you are a fornicator, if you are lascivious, if you are idolatrous, if you are a witch or practice witchcraft, if you, pra if you practice wrath, if you practice strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, murders, drunkenness, you see all of these things. He says that these that you have been warned you've been told before he's talking to to the galatians but by extension to us that we've been told before so if you've not heard it before you're hearing it now that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god no arguments there then he's now telling us what is expected to develop to blossom out from the spirit man if you let your spirit rule you the spirit of christ that is indwelt in you if you let him rule you 
instead of the, the former, you start, these are the, but the fruits of the spirit is, listen now, love. It comes from the inside, love. If you allow Christ to rule your spirit man, what the fragrance that comes forth is love. So this is, this will be your practice, love. So you grow in it. Joy. You won't be a grumpy old fella. Joy. Peace. That peace is a peace of heart. It comes from the inside. You're not contentious. Long suffering. That is you persevere. You, you take stuff. You're not easily irritated. Gentleness. I can't overemphasize this. Gentleness. Are you gentle? Are you meek? Are you gentle? If not, re-examine yourself. Goodness. People will see you and see the ambience the, or the ambience of the Lord emanating from you. Faith. They will see that you believe. You believe. You don't give up. You believe. You believe what you believe God. Meekness. Temperance. That is, you don't easily lose your temper. Temperance. You are temperate. And he says, against such, there is no law. There is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh or the carnal things. Crucified, 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 killed, put to the cross. The flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So he says, if you are really Christ's, then you will crucify. That is, that is one of the first things that would have been done by you. You would have crucified the, 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 you would have crucified the flesh, which, from which all those evil things emanate, adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, envy, strife, emulations, all of those. You would have crucified the flesh. So these things would not emanate from you, would not radiate from you. They will be far from you. And then he says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. And how do you walk in the spirit? These other things, which are the fruit of the spirit, will be evident. Joy, you walk in love, you walk in joy, you walk in peace, you walk in long suffering, you walk in gentleness, you walk in goodness, you walk in faith. You walk in meekness. You walk in temperance. And then there's no judgment for you. No judgment for you. There's no law. Against, against such, there's no law. Now, people can tell if this is what emanates from you. You can tell about a toxic Christian who is carnal, who is flesh-ruled. And you can also tell about a spirit-ruled Christian. You will see the fruits that would be evident. Either fruits manifesting flesh or fruits manifesting the spirit. Think about this carefully and choose wisely. I advise that you crucify the flesh with the affections and lusts thereof. God bless you. Hallelujah.